Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo. What? Huh? Oh, it seems like there's some new news coming out. That's right, we all know that the popular pilot Infinity Train is getting its own series set to release next year. But we also found out that the equally as great pilot that came out in 2016, Victor and Valentino, is also finally getting its own full-fledged series. If you've never heard of this exciting show, let me give you a rundown of the plot so you can be up to date. Victor and Valentino follows the adventures of two half-brothers as they navigate the weird and supernatural town of Monte Macabre as they stay with their grandmother over the summer. Now if this sounds a lot like Gravity Falls to you, don't worry, it's only on paper. The real show is definitely its own thing. The original pilot dropped as a short in 2016. Since then, there's been a massive support for this to become a full series, with its own change.org petition being made. Luckily for those people, that's exactly what happened. As of March 8th, we are confirmed that Victor Valentino is a full series. The reason I'm so excited for the show is because of its legitimately incredible pilot. In the aforementioned pilot, Victor and Valentino chase a skeleton chihuahua and in the process end up in the underworld. Don't ask me how, that's just how their world works, I guess. They're forced to escape a death labyrinth or else they'll be killed themselves. Dark, but what isn't anymore? The two try to make it out of the labyrinth, but Victor always ends up rushing to the decision and screwing something up for the both of them. Because of this, they aren't able to make it out of the maze in time. But luckily, Victor ends up saving Valentino from literal death by sharing his tacos with the demons and using their recipe as a bargaining chip to get them out of the underworld. That's the plot. However, what really solidifies this as an exciting series is the ending. The episode ends with Victor and Valentino realizing that if they look through their mask, they can see an entire secret world of the dead. It ends with their grandma telling them that it's time to finally explain the truth about what happens in their town, and then it ends. They pulled a total cliffhanger on us. They don't want to get our attention, because I'm, I'm definitely on the edge of my seat here. Naturally, after seeing this, I'm nothing but excited for the series. And I can't help but theorize what's going to come from the full-fledged series when it does come out. First off, there's definitely going to be some story to this show. This isn't some one-off. Clearly, their grandma knows something about the town, so she's probably the one who tells them a lot about the towns and its secrets. And we are aware that Monty Macabre has secrets behind it, but what are those secrets? Is the town some sort of bridge between the mortal realm and the underworld? Maybe their grandma's like a gatekeeper to the bridge. That's why they can see her in the human world and a skeleton version of her in the dead world. I'm sure the series will also have some mystery elements to it as Victor and Valentino try to uncover the secrets of the town. Who knows what else can come with this show? Regardless though, there's plenty of reasons to be excited for it. Victor and Valentino follows what seems to be a trend or direction Cartoon Network seems to be going in with more plot-heavy, story-driven shows. This show and Infinity Train, along with the continuation of shows like Steven Universe, make it seem like the channel is shaping up to be a powerhouse for story-driven animation. And I, for one, am very excited. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But as always, we want to know what you guys think. Have you seen Victor and Valentino? Are you excited for the full series? Are you not? Let us know in those comments down below. If you want my roundtable, make sure to follow us at Roundtable Vids with our Instagram and Facebook under the same name. Follow us on Snapchat at RoundtableYT for little goofs we capture throughout the day. If you want to help out the roundtable, consider supporting us on Patreon and get your name shown like all these great people around me right now. And if you pay a little bit more, you might even get your very own shout out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the roundtable for more great cartoon content. As always, guys, I'm Retro Nemo. This is your daily dose of cartoon news, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Goodbye.